got realness, I just kill shit cause it's in my DNA I got millions, I got riches building in my DNA I just win again, then win again like Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy, son, TJ, here to talk about Drama Super Episode 95, man. And I've been making a lot of videos recently, so this video might be coming out pretty late. But if you haven't, check out my top strongest um, Attack on Titan shifters. But there's my most popular video is that same video I made back in 2015. And I also made a top strongest Street Fighter and Tekken. So I've been on my video grind shit, and more videos going to be coming out soon. More playthrough stuff. And, um, yeah, man, but, yeah, let's talk about Dragon Ball Super Episode 95. Now, 95 doesn't have too much going on with it. It's mostly focused on just Frieza being a badass. And, all, honestly, Frieza looks better in this episode than he did in the Dragon Ball Z Resurrection F movie because all the CGI in that film. But, and right now, in this episode, it, it was amazing. Also, this episode really highlighted, highlighted the, the two greatest animators on Dragon Ball Super right now, Naoki Taite and Sheeta. Sheeta is finally back for an episode, man. And I don't care how short it was, it was badass, man. Tell you what. But let me break down the episode. So it's mostly Frieza wrecking the assassins, right? But Goku's telling him not to kill him. But there's like a little battle between them. Goku not wanting to kill and Frieza just pretty much murking everybody and letting everyone know that he has mastered his golden form. Pretty much, he has mastered golden form as much as Goku has mastered Super Saiyan Blue. And now the the one of the assassins uses the ball of the god destruction, the Hakai ball, but it's, it's literally the destruction ball. And like the funny thing is he tricks Frieza by throwing a bunch of fake purple orbs, but finally unleashing a purple orb from the water. This is the same thing that Goku did against Frieza back in their first fight. Um, it hits Frieza, but Frieza is so strong now in his golden form that he's able to pretty much tank it, compress it into his own, and use it as his own attack. And once Goku's telling everyone, like, we're not going to go down for that bullshit, while Goku's distracted, Golden Frieza th throws the ball at Goku. So, for everyone being a hater saying that Goku and, <laughs> Goku and Frieza are friends, no, they're just cool with each other because they know they're both powerful and they're rivals, but they're still enemies. Frieza's still a villain. So, and yet again, all you drama super haters that find every reason to hate on this show, you just shut it at this point because Frieza's still a threat and a villain. But while Goku is captured in this God Destruction Ball because Goku is not strong enough in his base form to get out of it like Frieza could, Frieza tries to make a deal with the Universe uh, 9, I think it's Universe 9 God Destruction and the Supreme Kai, and they're pretty much debating whether they should, they should trust Frieza, which no one should. But pretty much the story is telling us that Frieza is trying to manipulate all the God Destructions. But before Frieza can complete the deal, Beerus and Whis show up, and Beerus, by just blowing his breath, knocks the God Destruction Ball away. So, yet again, they're still giving Beerus, you know, the hype he deserves, you know, he's a beast, he can do everything within, like, you know, a breath or so. But it's still showing that Golden Frieza can still take on, like, um, God Destruction, Hakai's and shit, and Goku at Super Saiyan Blue and above can do the same. So everyone's saying that Hakai and God Destruction shit can one-shot everyone. That is not true so far, but yet again, uh, Goku decides to do, do a little combat with Team Goku and Frieza, and this is when uh, Notushi, no <laughs> no uh, this is when Shida comes in with the animation, and pretty much Wiz says, whoever lands the first hit, fit, first hit wins. Well, I'm not talking well today, man, I'm kind of tired, but the animation was fantastic, just the art and detail. Goku goes into Super Saiyan Blue, Golden Frieza, it's Golden Frieza, and they both knock each other out, saying that Golden Frieza is now tied with Goku as Super Saiyan Blue. And mind you, this current Goku as Super Saiyan Blue is 10 times stronger than he was in the Universe 6 Saga when he went Kaio Kid. So Frieza, in his true Golden form, is really, is really strong. I don't know if he's stronger than Gohan or, or Vegeta currently, but he's definitely stronger than Android 17 because Android 17 fought a suppressed Super Saiyan Blue Goku while he was suppressed, but this was full power Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Go to Freeze, and they both knocked each other out. Just Goku didn't go Kyle Ken. So Go to Freeze for me, like the in terms of who's the strongest on Universe 7 is Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Frieza, Android 17, and Under, man. So that's why I fear is that. Tell me what you think the um, the, the strongest characters in Android, uh, the Android, the strongest characters in Universe 17, and tell me what you think that and below. But yeah, man, the tournament's about to start next episode. And you can see little previews of Frost and Frieza interacting, and you can see some of the God Destructions fighting each other in the end, too. So I really enjoyed that as well. 
I'll give this episode uh, an eight out of ten just because the animation and just um, uh, Taite and Sheeta on both on the same episode. It was just really cool to see it, man. Golden Frieza being a badass as usual. Um, yeah, man, I really enjoyed it. Tell me what you guys think about the episode. And um, I also want to talk about this. Like, here, here comes spoilers. If you follow like the drama super manga and stuff, then here comes the spoilers here. But currently in the drama super manga, Goku has used Hakai. <laughs> so I feel like the God Destruction shit that everyone keeps saying that Hakai one shots everyone. This episode just proven that because Golden Frieza was able to tank it. Like at least Super Saiyan Blue level characters can tank Hakai level techniques. Even if it's a small portion, they can tank it. And Goku in manga is able to use Hakai. So let me know if you feel like is we're getting closer to mortals surpassing gods that are not fusion or fucking future trunks. Like because. <laughs> Future Trucks and Vegito and Fusion Masu, at least with the purple arm, are definitely stronger than Beerus at this point, in my opinion. So let me know how y'all feel about how the Hakai is finally proving people that it's not a one shot for everything. Um, but yeah, man, really enjoyed the episode. I'll give it a seven or eight out of yeah, eight out of ten because I really enjoyed the animation. Cheetah was back in this episode doing his thing. Um, also, more videos are going to coming out. I already said this earlier, but. Uh, more specifically, like characters like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shion I haven't used yet because um, the Xenoverse 2 DLC is coming out. Let me know if y'all want me to go into more detail about that. And I'm going to be doing a Last of Us playthrough and I might just be live streaming Life of Strange. I don't know. I might flip flop between those two. And more Tekken 7 videos are going to be coming out as well. And yeah, so I'm going to be on my grind shit for a little bit. So yeah, Sun to Job, peace. Love you all.